play and call it work. Mini Wargaming Dave here from MiniWargaming.com here with Josh! Getting long. Welcome Wargamers to another Augustine's Wreckage. This is the Armageddon Necromander campaign and Josh and I will be fighting today and it's going to be awesomeness. I haven't fought you in a little while since yep. yesterday. Yeah, since yeah, the whole like almost 24 hours. Yeah, a little bit. Because we're a little bit addicted to this right now. Be sure to watch all of the other battles that are associated with this campaign. There's going to be 48 in total. It's going to be awesome. Binge watch them. Just sit back and relax and watch them all. Don't even sleep. Just, just watch them all. And then you can see how much Josh needs to improve his Graf Jin Revolutionary Committee. Yeah, make fun of the way I said it. And please, I'm waiting for it. You've made fun of yourself enough, sir. That was a good one. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty good. So, uh, let's take a look at the gangs. For the Brotherhood of Cain, I have three dudes with old battle wounds. My uh, leader, my sorcerer, Cain, he has a battle wound. Ragusa, a cultist, battle wound. And Jasper, my ogren, he has a battle wound. Starting with Jasper, rolling for him, he comes on. Ragusa, he comes on. Oh, good, Cain, he comes on too. Last mission, he did not come on, and it was a little bit sad, I'm not going to lie. Josh has some battle wounds in his Gretchen Revolutionary Committee, so let's go ahead and see if they come on. Rolling the old battle wound for Skrapskia. He oh. shows up. And then the other old battle wound is Zoomkoff. Zoomtight? There he is. He showed up, He's too. Fine. Also need to roll for Uno and his head wound to see what happens to him this game. With a roll of five on head wound. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, he'll get you. Oh, he's going to get me good? Yeah, you will. Unless he makes his leadership, and then he doesn't have to charge me uh, with double his attacks. Leadership five. He's going to probably fail it. Yeah. The battle we are playing today is going to be the Horde. What we do, since I am the defending player, because... Uh, why am I the defending player? Because you chose uh, you the mission. Pick, yeah, because yeah. you have a higher gang rating. I do have slightly higher. I'm 26.99. shoot it again. Well, yeah, let's do it. No. Why not? No. Are you scared? No. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I am the defending player. I choose the Horde. The Horde will be the celestial skull filled with psychic energy. I'm trying to protect it. I want it for myself. And I deploy D3 plus one guys. D3 plus one. D3 plus one. That's going to be four guys. Actually, it's D3 plus two. We just looked it up, double checked it. It is five guys in total that'll be coming onto the board from my defending side. My guys need to start within six inches of the cache of the loot here. So what I've done is I've chosen my gang members with two or more wounds because it's a better chance of surviving the onslaught that is to come because reinforcements come for me on a roll of a six for my next turn, turn after that's on the roll of a five, and so forth on a four, three, two, until I get them, I suppose. But right now I only have five guys I can start on the board. Everyone has two wounds with the exception of Jasper, my ogre, and he has three wounds. Everyone can start on Overwatch, which everyone is going to start on Overwatch especially Boris, and that's really all I'm going to do with my guys. Now it's Josh's deployment. So Josh, as the attacker, goes first. Indeed, we've got the glorious revolutionary army set up here, and I think there's going to be no charge to declare. We're just going to start by running Can't Catch You here. Can't get me? You're running? Running his Overwatch from Overwatch. You're going to Overwatch everybody right here? No. Yes. Xander will overwatch, and I'll decide now, because I figure there's no, not going to be a short-range bonus, because you're going to run 10. That won't be a short-range yep. bonus for me. And I might as well stop you there where you are, or at least attempt to. So I hit on a 5 normally, but it's minus 3, because you ran, and your shield gives you full cover, so that's minus 3 to the roll, which is crazy. I need to roll a 6 to even get started here. Yep. Now, I am rapid-fire, which means I get to re-roll my fail-to-hit roll, so if I don't okay. get a 6, I can re-roll it. Uh, that's a re-roll. And that's a miss. And luckily I don't stray shot, there's no one in front of me, so he misses. And I will not overwatch with anyone else. Hugo will run up next. Well, that's not very nice. And now it's the rest. The rest of the grouts are going to kind of run up. Just following up. Continue with my movement here. Crankshiv will go ahead and run himself up right back over this way. Scrapskia will follow up back over that way too. 
do the movement for Greg Ogre and this entire group running up as well. Ending that group up there. Got to figure out where does the Red Gobble want to go? Uh, I think he's going to run up to go with his comrades here. Landing him right there. Uh, clip harness up here because I don't want to be falling off of that. And I do believe that is going to be it for my movement phase. Right over to my shooting. The only shot I can take here is going to put my sniper over into your guy with the heavy stubber. You have cover. I have the plus one to hit from the red dot. So I will be hitting you on a three up. Come on, little buddy. And there we go. There's a hit on your guy. We got to test to see if he falls. Initiative four, so you're gonna fail five or six, so you're falling. Five inch fall, so that's a strength five hit on you. What's your toughness? Four. He's toughness four? Yep. Okay, wound him on a three up. He is wounded, so he's down to one wound remaining. Now we gotta see if the sniper can wound him on a four up. The sniper does wound him. Do you have any kind of armor? No. Nope. Let's see what kind of wound it is. Left wound. You are down. Rasputin. Rasputin gonna take a break test. Leadership six. It's good. And then the Ogren's also within two. What's his leadership? Jasper is eight. He's running. Jasper does not like it. That's he's seven. gonna run seven inches. I guess he actually can anybody see him where he's at? Taking off to right there so nobody can see him. Actually, uh, you get to reel the failed uh, break tests if you're so close to the thing. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Grab those two dice again. Never mind, he's still pro. The other one. He's still there. Yeah. And the other one passed. Yeah. Okay. That brings us over to Dave's turn. Uh, you need to... Yeah, nothing you need to do at the start of the turn. We're right over to your movement. Well, this sucks. Uh, yeah, how's it feel? Whoa. Sure. Whoa, whoa, heavy words. I know. I'm sorry. I don't know I was, if you want to speak You're, you're sorry on camera. As soon as it goes off, you're going to say it twice. I think at this point, the best thing, I'm gonna run. The best thing for me to do is make it so you don't have line of sight to me. Just hide around the corner? Yeah, I'm gonna hide around the corner and I'm gonna move two inches here. Me, 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 me. Recovery, let's see what happens. Looking for a flesh wound here, getting a five, You're still down. Still down. And then you gotta see if the Ogren rallies. Initiative? Oh no, it's leadership. Oh, eight. Uh, oh leadership. No, he doesn't. Reroll because of this? He's yep, you're within six. Good, he rallies. He's back in the fight? Yep. Mm -hmm. Take a look. I want to move this group over as much as I can. I don't know if I'm going to get shots, but I'm going to do my best to measure it up and see if I can move in such a way to be able to get some shots off at you here. Ogren's moved up here to be able to put some shots in. Rasp shooting has limited uh, arc of fire there, but Greg Ogre can see quite a bit. And the Grotz, of course, is going to kind of run up behind. My four Grotz finishing their move just like that. This group here, everybody will just run straight up the board. Running down the street, just getting ready to light you up. Shooting, let's have Greg O'Greg go ahead and launch a grenade at the guy in the purple shirt. I'm going to be hitting you on a 5 at this range. Come on, big money. No, 3, so I'm going to miss, but I will be scattering. See where I scatter? I can only scatter a max of about three and a half here. So that will come back that way, three and a half. I don't think I'm going to hit anybody. Yeah, because two and a half inches across, I think you're safe. Effectively dodging that grenade. Next, let's have Rasp shoot and open up. I can only see the guy, the closest one is the one in the blue shirt. So let's start by shooting at him. Sustained fire, 2d3. That's pretty good. I'm going to get five shots at you. First shot, hitting you on a five. Or sorry, hitting on a four because I've got the red dot. No, that's a one. Stray shot, nobody in the way for me to hit. Next shot, four up. Okay, there's another one. I'm going to stop rolling this die. Third shot, four up. There's the four up I'm looking for. Toughness three on Xander, so I will be wounding him on a two up with my strength five. It does wound. Uh, he doesn't have carapace armor, I can only assume. What type of wounding hit is it? The type where you are down. Now, I do have a shot 
I could actually see the guy in the purple shirt, but he was a tougher shot than Mr. Blue Shirt guy. So Rasp Shooting will put his last shot over into there. I'm going to hit you on a six, though. No, he doesn't hit. But there are some brake tests we got to take care of. Looking at the brake test, we're going to start with Rasp Shooting. Leadership six. Okay, you do get a reroll. He is fine. Next, your Ogren. Leadership eight. He's okay. And the last guy's there too far away. Those are all the shots I had at you, so that will be, yeah, that is just the end of my turn. We are gonna go on to the chaos turn. Start of the turn for Dave on a six, the reinforcements show up. Ooh. No. Now this gets one easier every turn, so next turn will be on a five. Alistair? Yep. He's gonna be brave. Now, do you get charged to declare because you got to do it first? I'm, and that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so right. he's going to try to charge an Ogren? Yeah. You have to take a fear test, sir. Uh, not if I have fear. It negates it. Oh, does he have fear? Maybe. <laughs> no fear on him. No fear. Okay, so what's his leadership? Seven. Nice, not afraid. All right, so you're charging... <laughs> oh, you're charging it against uh, Can't Catch You? Yeah. Jasper is going to charge... Here you go. Okay. Rasputin is going to charge him. I charge my grot? Yeah. Wait, way to be a jerk. Close combat now. Where do you want to start? Alistair. Fighting against, uh, that's Can't Catch You. I think I'm going to, yeah, I, hmm, do I want to throw you? Ready for the combat first here. We both got hurl opponent, but neither of us are gonna try it because we're not sure who gets to try it first. So we're not gonna do it. Yeah. But I've got two attacks and <laughs> you have got your four attacks. I'm gonna be rolling two white dice. Six and a four, pretty good. You get a five. All right, let's figure the math out on this one. Oh wait. That result we... I got a one anyway. Oh yeah, there's a fumble. So I'm gonna hit you twice. Because the way it works is you don't get the charge bonus because you're charging to cover from the shield. Um, same weapon skill. Yeah, so I'm gonna hit you two times. What's the toughness on him? T3, so I'm gonna wound you on twos. That's two wounding hits. I have two wounds. You have two wounds? Yeah. Uh, so we just gotta see the one wounding hit. Do I take you out of action on a two up? Or is it a flush wound? Yeah, you're, you're out. You are out of Ow. here. Your ogre needs to take a break test before anything. Nope. Why not? I don't want to. Well, too bad. Well, fine. Leadership 8. Made it. He loves it. And I will move into close combat with you. Nope. In retrospect, I'm not going to use that 2-inch move to follow up there, because I was going to try to cheat and hurl you, but I've already attacked. So he's going to just... Uh, He'll go right there, that's fine. On to this next combat here then. Uh, Jasper versus Hugo. Well, you're gonna go. Yeah, Hugo. After you. Weapon skill three. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting a four is my high score here. You get three attacks. Oh, yes. Okay, so there's a fumble and an extra crit. So they basically cancel each other out. So you retain your six. Yep, and I charged. Yep, but the shield. Okay, so then. you're going to beat me by two. We will resolve the power fist first, wounding me on a two. Oh, that wounds. Yep. I don't get a save. It's D3 damage. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm So that's enough. Yeah, just to... Let's figure this out. So yes. down one, two... Yeah, so you get two wounding hits. You get two chances here to try to wipe me out. Roll double ones. <laughs> okay, so he's flesh wounded. Then your combat blade here. It's not giving you any kind of bonus. Strength you five. are your strength five? Yeah, I'm toughest five. So a four wound. Yeah, do it. I will. Oh no. I get my armor save at least. Four up. Say it. Fail it. That's a fail. That's a fail. Roll another okay. one for me. No, don't say that. No. Oh. Okay. So he is down, uh he's he's out of action. Yes, yes. He's you're just gonna hurl me. So if I do this, bink, then you can't hurl me. That's true. That is a fact that is true. Now for the fight of the century, we got Rasputin under the ladder there versus Trixie. 
We are equal weapon skill here. I get one attack, you get two. I can re-roll one of my attack dice because I have the Why ability. are you re-rolling the higher one? Re-roll the lower one, man. There's no difference. Yeah, it is, because at least that way it won't hit you as much. Uh, Math. Math. No, it's, it's look, it's going to get a one now because you said that. I know. Thank you very much. I was going to say that. Or a six. <laughs> the easy math on this is this brings you down to basically rolling a three. I charged. So it brings you back up to a four. I beat you by two. Yep. Toughness three, strength three, so I'm going to wound you on fours. Go, Phil. Well, let's pass, pass. Do you have any armor, sir? Nope. Two ups to take you out. You are out of here. Well, stop it. No. Yeah. Recovery phase, Xander. Let's see what happens. On a four, he's still down. And for Boris, he's still down. Over to my turn now. Going pretty good, except for Crankshiv's in a bad spot. Yeah, a pretty bad spot. Mm -hmm. Charges to declare. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to go in to help the little bugger there. Nope. Oh, yeah. Definitely, yeah. I'm really terrified of everything that's happening here. You are? Well, I mean... What are you talking I'm about? I lose anybody. I'm going to run everybody, I think. Are you serious? Everybody. Yeah. Stay and fight! Well, no, no, no. I'm definitely going to stay and fight you here. Throw you away. First things first, let's take care of some of these schmoes. I will be charging here. Oh, come on. Rasp Shootin' will be running up to... Why don't you put Rasp Shootin' against Rasputin? It's so much more thematic. Rasputin's on the ground right now. No, he's no, he's dead. Not. Never mind, he's dead. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All these grots just moving up, running up to form a little protective semicircle around this. What is this? What am I looking at here? The X-Files? It might be. It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? All these grots are going to run as well. Walking the grots. Start, Walking the grots. Starting to move this way. Walking the green grots. Yeah. Frank. Are you having fun? I am. I can't find all my guys, though. What do you mean? Are they lost in the city? They kind of are. <laughs> my grot here will go in Overwatch. Where's Bisco? Uh, he's BS4 with a red dot. So pretty good. On to close combat. We're going to start with this one right here. Okay. And I'll just bye take bye. you off the board and do my two-inch follow-up. Get away from me. No. Close combat here. I will choose to try hurl Oh, opponent. come on. Be a man and fight me. Be a man and fight me. No. Why not? No. Be an no, ogre sure. and fight me. No. You're picking on somebody that's like a tenth of your size. I know. You're picking on me. And you got armor and a shield. I'm shirtless. Now, I'm bearing all for you. You've got a power fist. That's terrifying. No, I'm not fighting him. You got a shield! Two up. Get a one. Or actually, no. Uh, since it's a strength test, I fail on a six. Yes, that's true. Oh, no. I'm going to throw it. All right. Oh, an inch. An inch. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to charge him again, right? You're pinned. I'm not. Yes, you are. I can get up because I'm an ogre. You have to test to get up, sir. Well, I'm going to get up. I hope you fail. Well, I think you just have to change that attitude. Beginning of my turn now, on the roll of the five, all my reinforcements. Come on, come on, come on! Ah! Testing to get up early for my pinned ogre. Would you stop? <laughs> Would you stop? <laughs> End of the round now. Boris, get up on a one! Ah, he's down, he's out. I might as well just, no, you, you gotta do your movement, never mind. No, that was then, a one or a six. That was a four. Yeah, laugh. <laughs> laugh at it, laugh at it. Soak it up, it's all good. <sighs> this is the end of my turn now. Oh, you're back up. Yes. Hurl me again, please. Okay, it's your turn. That was a very fast turn for me. Charges to declare, uh, I'll, I guess I'll charge. No, don't do that, come on, he's down. You're right, I'll charge with the grunt instead. <laughs> And then I'm going to get ready to form a firing line. Well, there's good luck with that. It's not going to work. They got way too much shield in their face. You know, they actually kind of look like Bane. A little bit. Yeah. What are you moving back for? Oh, no reason. Would you stop? Over to shooting now. Uh, let's start with just the volleys of shots. Wow. Movement here. He'll just kind of, well, 
tuck in, and the grots will run up with them. Yes, sir. First grenade here, gonna hit you on a four up. Miss. Because you're a large target. Miss. That's, That's a hit. It. That's ammo check? Yep. Okay. Uh, it's like eight up ammo. Fail. He's fine. Oh, come on. What's your toughness? Six. I'm serious. So. Okay, I'm gonna wound you on like a six, I think. Okay. Nope. Failed to wound your pinned at least. I feel like taking a nap. Let's continue with the shooting. Crank Shiv with his auto pistols. Gonna hit you on a two. Good luck. That's a hit. Ammo. Yeah, that's fine for an auto pistol. Again, wounding on a six. No. Oh. Second pistol. Second pistol. Oh. Straight shot. Straight shot. Th yeah. No. No. Yeah, there's nobody in the way. Next, Scrapsky is gonna shoot in. Hitting on a four. That's a miss. Uh, this was number eight, so that's Molten Toff. He's gonna hit you on a two. That's a hit. Ammo tat. You stop making those. Wound you on a six. Nope. No. Dose. Trace. Hit you on a four. Quattro. Ammo check. Fail it! Yes. Yeah, that's a failed ammo test for him. Still get to wound you on a six. Nope. Look at this. Trace. Trace? Is his name actually Trace? Yeah. Oh, he missed. Second Grenadier Gauntlet here. Um, I'm gonna hit you on a five now. Nope. Nobody in the way. Beginning my turn now, rolling for reinforcements on a four plus. Nice! I'm gonna get your reaction. Good, it's four guys to shoot. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna kill you now. Okay, go for it. But before we continue, we gotta just make sure the Heavy Stubber is out because you charged him and you can do your two inch follow up if you want. Yep, I will go right to there. Okay. And here they are. Here are my reinforcements. I stupidity. Have stupidity on my Ogren. I didn't do this last turn, but it wouldn't have mattered because he just would have remained pinned or whatever. He was pinned. Yeah. So, let's see if he's pinned here. Leadership 8. He is not stupid. He's not stupid. He's not stupid. You can get a test for pinning. Uh, oh, come on! <laughs> just stop! Just stop! I'm gonna run. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I actually go triple with him because he is... Um, Sprint, and then I'm gonna run with my flamer, and then I'm going to move with him, and then I'm gonna move with him, and then I'm gonna run with my flamer, and then I'm going to run with my bolt pistol, and then I'm gonna run with my bolt pistol. There you go. And before I get too much further, I'm gonna do some psychic stuff. I'm gonna actually benefit from this. Ludwig, he has leadership seven. I'm gonna do. Uh, Ludwig has an ability that allows the, that gives him plus two strength and plus one toughness. But so you control, and I make it because I get four which is plus two toughness, plus one strength. Porter is gonna shoot his auto gun, the backside of your Ogren. Yes, sir. And no bonus for you, because the shield is facing the other way, and your Indeed. large target's plus one. I'm hitting on five normally, so hitting on four right now. That's a miss, and I'm definitely gonna stray shot. There's dudes in front of me, I should have thought of that. Gonna roll dine on a one, and it actually happens. Nope, does not happen. Rufus back here with his gun. I'll be hitting you on A2, because he's supposed to skill five. That's hit. So you are pinned. Five to wound. That's a wound! What -a happens? Forp save. Fail sauce, thank you. Maybe a jerk, he's down to three. Well, okay, well now I'm gonna crack shot you. Well, thanks for I just shot. wanted to see your face. Ragusa is gonna fire now. I hit you on a five because you faced your shield towards me. Well, he deep. normally hits on a five, right? Well, he hits on a five normally. Well, he hits on a Are you not seven. a big target? Uh, so he hits me on a six. Yeah. I get full cover. Okay. Nope. End of my turn, I'm gonna get up. Bink! <laughs> Stop knocking me down! Greg O'Grey is gonna test to get out of pinning early. He's initiative five. Oh my goodness! I love it! I love it! Uh, I'm close to the horde. I think I get a reroll on that. No, that's only for my side. No, 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 no. That's no. only for no, my no, side. No, 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 no. You're just making stuff up. You're gonna try to get it printed so it looks like it's legit. Any model within six of the horde gets iron will and nerves of steel. Well, that's not the story I'm telling. I know it's not, Steve. The reroll for being close to that. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, that's really not good. No, it's not good. Crank Shiv, the hero that we need, he is going to do his 12 inch run to up there, and then he gets a six inch leap. Talking about. Huh! Gets to go another two inches. So he goes right to there. 
can't catch you, we'll advance his five inches up to there. Make sure his shield is facing nicely. Mm. The grots here are just going to go ahead and spread out a little bit. <laughs> Pop around the corner. <laughs> it's like a spider. The other grots here are just going to be running. He's going to run and dive for cover, so he hides after his run. Rasp shooting will run himself to right over here. Zoom cop, on the other hand, will run himself to over here. Sniper up here will take a shot. I can kind of see the guy behind the building there. You're gonna get full cover at the very least. Can you see him? Technically, yes, I could see mean, him. It's a yes or no on that. No, it's a technically yes. I could see him, and that means he could see me, which is ridiculous. After all the associated bonuses and penalties, I'm gonna hit you on a four. Miss! So I just double checked, and that's slain. He happens to have chameleonic skin, which would have hit you on a five. It would have. What? Why? What did you hit me on? The cover's one better. That's I, true. I that's true. I needed a four to hit. I would have hit on a five. It's the truth you speak. Mm -hmm. Now to move on to some shooting. After his super long run, uh, I do have hip shooting. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to push a shot at uh, Ludwig, Captain Fire guy. Normally I'm gonna be hitting on. Hit you on a two. Get a one. That's it. Toughness five, because okay. of the psychic power. And wound you on a six. Nope. You know, but you pinned. Yep. There's an ogre yet. Pink. And now you're shooting at Kane. He's the next closest. I think I'm hitting him on three. Hit you on a two, I'm still at good range here. Ammo test on the auto pistol. It's okay. Toughness four, wounding you on a five. Nope. But you pinned. Meh. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw a Grenadier Gauntlet onto the guy with the Flamer. Hitting on a 6 at this range. No, it's going to scatter. Scattering off his head. That will go over, uh, that's... Let me figure out how far away I am. Luckily enough, it's going to land right there, because I can only scatter up to half the distance I am away from you. Starting to wound the Flamer guy. So they're all pinned. Yeah, they're all pinned. Eh. Yeah. Eh. 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 Starting with Damien. What's his toughness? His toughness is really, really good. Okay, three. Wound you on a three? He's wounded. So he has two wounds. So he's down to one wound. Yep. Sid is next. Same time. Toughness four. Wound you on a four? Yep. He's also two wounds. Next, Brecken. How many wounds does he got? Well, what do you want to know for? He's got one wound. Okay. What's his toughness? Toughness three. Wound you on a three. That's a wound. What kind of wound? What kind of wound? Kind of weird damn. Pink. And here we have Rufus. Wound you on Toughness three. Nope. Doesn't wound. Ragusa. Wound him on a three? Yep. Yep. Not a terrible shot. Trixie is gonna shoot the guy with the flamer. Frasco. Hit you on a four. Miss. Oh come on. Wound you on a four? Yep. And what happens? Get down. Done. Break test on my sorcerer. He's fine. Grats. Now my grots are gonna open up. I don't know, we'll start here. I'm gonna hit you on a four. Mm. Nope. Nope. Next. Here. Four. Yep. That hits. Pinned. And wound you on a six. Nope. Nope. Stop pinning me! Same thing here on a four. Oh, ammo check. Um, oh, he's out. And let's see if he wants it on six. Nope. Nope. So I am currently six guys either out or down. I need seven in this scenario to have a bottle test, so I don't bottle test right now. Jasper's gonna test for stupidity. Let's see if he can uh, have his own mind here. Oh, he is stupid. So I roll a d6, that's five. The model does not move. Okay. Kane has initiative five and he's a leader and he's able to uh, see if he can get up right now, early. Good, he's up, Bink. And I'm gonna test these guys as well to see if they can get up. Damien is initiative four. Oh, come on. Sid is initiative three, he's good. 
before we forget, recovery phase for Josh's turn, you can stand up your, what's his name? That is, that's Greg Ogre. Okay. Rufus, let's see if I can stand him up. Initiative five on Rufus. Oh, come on. Ragusa is initiative four. Yep, he's up. Now for uh, declaring charges, I'm gonna definitely charge Kane somewhere. Kane is uh, gonna charge uh, this duder right there. Rasp shooting. Rasp shooting. Okay. Causes fear. So I gotta pass this test. I'm leadership nine. I'm good. Yeah. Sid is also gonna charge. You're number four. Everyone else, I'm going to move up. Those are the other ones charging. Moving two. Moving. Oh wait, hold on. You got that stupid blast. It's not stupid. Oh, it is. Slain is gonna shoot at <laughs> number six. Crank shift. Or nine. Nine. Hitting on two because short range bonus with his. Yep, that's a hit. Pinned. Wounding on a four. That's a wound. Let's see what happens. He's down. Ba-dum. Porter is gonna shoot at. That is, can't catch you. I hit on fives, uh, calculating all the bonuses and detractors, and that misses. Ragusa now will do the same thing, and he will hit on a five. That's a hit. Pinned. See if I wound you. Looking for a six. Whoa, that's a wound. And Four up armor. Oh. Now for the awesome close combats. Let's start with this one right here. Beep, beep, beep. We can Sid, know that. Sid, attacking your grot. Equal weapon skill. Hmm. Okay. And I add one to the result because I charged. So technically that you're gonna hit me five times. Yes. Strength four versus your toughness three. I need threes. Okay. And yeah, you're done. Avenge me. Yes. Break test on Rasp shooting there, the Ogren. Leadership eight, he's sticking around, okay. he doesn't care. Good. And then I'm gonna move into combat with you. I can body slam you, which means that if I charge, which I did, I can make a strength test. Should I pass it? You are weapon skill one for this turn. Yep. What was your weapon skill? Uh, more than one. Use four. Okay, that's significant. Yeah. All right, and let's roll it. So I get a grand total of five. Why and five? Because of my uh, weapon skill. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So and I get that seven. That's thirteen. Uh, seven. Fourteen for four, charging. Fourteen for charging. So you hit me like uh, nine times. Okay. I have dark elder blade venom, so I reroll my fail to wound rolls, and I wound you on five. Ah! Wow. Okay. Is that enough to do stuff right there, or should I reroll this? Reroll them just dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh look. Okay. Now what's your strength? Strength four. Strength four. So I go to a five up save. Mm-hmm. How can your dice didn't roll that well for me? Because they're my dice. Six wins. Okay, uh, so this one gets taken out, and if any of these are a two up, uh, you take them out. Yep, you get to 10 XP. Sweet. Now I'm gonna move two into your grot. At the end of my turn, some dudes are just gonna stand up, the ones that are just lying down on the job. And let's see uh, Frasco. No, he's still down, and uh, He's still down as well. Beginning of Josh's turn, you have four total who are out or down. You need to make a bottle test. What is your leadership on the board? Eight. Okay. I oh, love come life. on! I love life! Life is good! Good game, Josh! Wow. Good game, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Epic handshake. Let's do the post game. Four up on crank shifts to see if he's actually out of action. He is out of action. Frasco, let's see if he's out of action. Four up, he's not. He's not. And Brecken. He is. Rolling for Brecken on the serious injury chart. Six is the first die. We have, oh, he's dead. He's super dead. He's dead. Now for Boris. Two a 26, six. that's blind in one eye. You are my one ballistic skill. Okay, that sucks for him. Alistair. Four two. 42 is just a full recovery. Nice. Rasputin. Four, six. Is a full recovery. A Xander. Five, five. 55 is full recovery. Time to roll my side of the board. Again, the black die is gonna be the tens. 
Trixie is going to get a 44, which is a full recovery. Next, we're going to go over onto Crankshiv. Uh, double ones, he's dead, but we're going to try the Friendly Dock on a 5 up to save him. Okay, the Friendly Dock, this goes to multiple injuries. It's a D3 plus 1 injuries on him. So it's going to be 2. First of those injuries will be. I got to re roll that one because I can't get the dead result. Next one. Again, I can't get the dead result. Stop trying to die, Crankshiv. A 62. He goes to captured. I can't get captured. It's going to take forever. 64. Horrible scars. He causes fear. Last but not least, we are going to end up. That is a 36. He gets an old battle wound. Now on to Rasp Shootin'. A 23, ooh, not good. He gets a leg wound. It is going to be minus one to his movement. Last but not least, Hugo. A 54 for Hugo is a full recovery. Taking a look at my warband here, with this being a grudge match, the easiest way to show you who is upgrading is to show you the two that are not. Everybody else in the warband is, except for Zoomkoff and Crankshiv. Everybody. Let's take a look at all the upgrades that the Brotherhood of Cain have. This is nuts. There's a lot of extra bonuses because of the double experience, which is pretty sweet. Plus one Blissa skill on Cain, which is awesome. He's up to Blissa skill six. Ludwig is plus one initiative. We have Frasco, who is plus one toughness, which is really sweet. He's toughness four right now. I'm actually going to make a switch. I'm just going to switch out the weapons of uh, Frasco and Boris. And so they're going to switch. They're going to go like that because... Now, Frasco has plus skill 5. That makes much more sense on a heavy stubber. And uh, now that Boris is plus skill 2 because he's blind one eye, he's got a flamer, and it kind of makes sense. Speaking of uh, Boris, he now has true grit, which basically means that he can get back up on a 1 or a 2 if he is knocked down. Porter did not upgrade. Rufus now gains ambush. Slain is quick witted. That's his new ability that he has gained. Same with Rasputin over here. Sid is able to leap. And Jasper can now body slam, which is great. He passes a strength test, and should he do that on the turn that he charges, his opponent is weapon skill 1 for that turn, which is a big deal for him because he's weapon skill 3. And he's also plus 1 strength because he leveled up twice. For my territories, I'm sending one guy to the middle elk crop. Should I get a six, I can make another die. Oh, look at that. So that's d6 plus five. Awesome, so 110 just from him. And now these three, these are for water stills in the workshop. Okay, so that's another 100, so we got 210 right now. So I rolled for my workshop, and if I get a six, I get to add a new guy for free. So I have rolled a six, and I'm just gonna name another guy Brecken, and he'll come right back into the game. With my ton of upgrades, I'm going to go down the line here. My apologies, this might be a long clip. So, the Red Gobbo is now an escape artist. We have Fast Shot, so he's able to move and still go on Overwatch. Plus one Ballistic Skill as well as Sprint. He got two Ballistic Skill upgrades. A Weapon Skill upgrade. I am now with number eight, plus one Ballistic Skill and Infiltration. For these two Ogrins, they both got plus one Toughness. And then, let me see, down the line, down the line. Extra wound on Hugo. And then Rasp Shootin'. Sorry, no, I got that backwards. Uh, Hugo got Body Slam. Rasp Shootin' got an extra wound. And at the end, I got plus one Ballistic Skill, plus one Weapon Skill, plus one Ballistic Skill. Those are all my upgrades. Rolling for my uh, income, I ended up earning another 55. So I've got 283 in the bank. And I will choose not to spend a dime of it. That is the end of my warband. Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to buy anything. Dave has decided not to purchase anything either. So that is the end of this. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. Hope you guys are still having fun watching. We're still having a ton of fun playing. Keep being awesome, guys. And as always, happy wargaming.